السلام عليكم this is a case that we have where we have an interrupted uh, closal table upper closal table it was interrupted by the over eruption of the low upper teeth towards the lower uh, empty ridge how long has this been edentulous years years okay very long time okay the patient has grade 2 mobility here yes. and uh, this one also this one grade how much grade 2 Great. Yeah. There is a, 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 a uh, an eight here, but it's not in the. But I could see it on the X. Yeah. So uh, this was a good case talking about interrupted occlusal space where uh, we don't have any interocclusal space to replace the teeth. By the way, this is uh, the bite. The mounting is incorrect. There are some contacts here, sir. Yes. These teeth are in contact. How did we know that the uh, mounting was incorrect because of this uh, space? There uh, they clinically have a contact okay so I advise you first to take a correct bite because it will analyze the space correctly so but looking at this case and looking at the periodontal status of it uh, while looking at the teeth here we have the over erupted teeth we're looking now uh, between options orthodontic uh, intrusion uh, from uh, uh, endodontic elective endodontics with uh, preparations and counting thing and so on now uh, uh, for, before looking at the x-ray I was telling you that if you cut the teeth mm -hmm. if we're doing the ortho we're going to take place many implants and then we're going to retract the teeth upwards and then we're going to uh, relocate them in their place usually this is done best by ortho uh, mm -hmm. rather than the appliances on the uh, to open up space because if we open up space we will still have a limited arch space, okay? So it's not enough to open. When we talk about dull appliances, we're talking about maximum three millimeters. There could be anterior dull appliances with superior, uh, sorry, posterior space gain, uh, uh, space uh, over eruption of the teeth for anterior gain, or posterior dull appliances to, to gain anteriorly. But now looking at the X-ray, this is not the case. If I'm going to cut the teeth, suppose I'm going to cut the teeth to the correct occlusal table, mm. and from there run backwards, creating crowns and crowning thinning and elective endo. Mm. But the problem is that once I finish my work, I have now to prepare on a uh, root area. Sorry. So I've reached the frication. Mm. So this is no longer viable. Mm. So I was against extracting the teeth first, but once I looked at the x-ray, now I prefer the extraction of the teeth as the option. Okay, although it's the most traumatic option, but what we have here is a periodontal disease mm. with grade two mobility, and we also have here reaching the the resorption reaching the bifurcation area. Mm. So all of the other options we talked about are non uh, viable. Okay, mm. so yes, this is going to be an extraction case because of the uh, the huge periodontal involvement. Mm. Okay, but uh, also the seven, look at the uh, how much bone is left as a root. Mm -hmm. It's a minimum amount of bone. The eight has the same problem as well. All of this bone is already reduced. Now, after extraction, you need to manage the bone level here. Mm -hmm. Okay, because even after extraction at this case, you're going to extract these teeth. Still, the interocclusal space will be reduced for creating two teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. What will happen is the soft tissue enlargement that we have here, we see it here, okay? If this was a good periodontal case and we extracted, we will not have interclusal space even after extraction. Okay, if this was a good periodontal and bone support case and compensated well. But here, what I see that the soft tissue level that I saw on the cast is only oh, uh, some edematous and mm. soft tissue. Mm. So you have to manage the soft tissue around here. You have to uh, make sure you ha don't leave any bone pathologies in place and you don't le and you uh, check the level of this. Now, from the level of the bone, I would say you will have enough interocclusal space after extraction. So in cases with compensated over eruption, sometimes even with extraction, we don't gain enough space. We still need to do soft tissue and alveoloplasty uh, surgeries to adjust the ridge morphology. But in this case, no. The periodontal resorption had done 
the retraction of the bone back into place. So it's similar, almost similar to the bone levels of the adjacent teeth. So extraction alone without any bone procedures is enough for this case. Okay, so we're left with extractions. Orthodontic int intrusion is not an option because of the active periodontal disease and uh, uh, it's non-predictable in this case. Okay, If it was um, a, a good bone and periodontal status case, I would tell you, you could, intrusion would be an option. But now it's excluded because of the periodontal status. Okay, thank you.